Okay, greetings from the Ho Alifan Institute, this fleshing office, kitchen, um, getting ready to cook a real Chinese dish. This one is going to be a vegetable. First of all, um, extra virgin olive oil come into the wok. Okay, heat it up. The fire is doing its trick to deliver the heat to the oil and the energy is being transformed. Now, next, the very fundamental element of garlic. Again, for you guys who want to learn some Chinese, that's huo. Olive oil is called a gan lan yu, and the garlic is called a da suan. So, huo, gan lan yu, da suan. Uh, now we're gonna do the vegetable. It's called a xiao bai. These are the vegetables you can not find in Washington State in any supermarket. And it can be found here in Flushing in the Chinese supermarket. In the Flushing Chinese supermarket, there are a lot of varieties, huge varieties of vegetables that people outside of Flushing, outside of New York, outside of the biggest Chinatown in America, they will not be able to enjoy. But they are very traditional Chinese vegetable and they have a lot of deep also, um, you know, spiritual in the content too. Chinese food, not only the taste, not only the superficial molecular nutrients, but also there are every, every food element has some very important signs regarding balancing our body of the five elements. You see the color of the vegetable? The color of the vegetable says a lot about its true nature. If it is white, it's connected with metal. If it is red, it is connected with fire. If it is black, it is connected with um, the element of water. If it is uh, uh, green, it is connected with the element of wood. And if, if it is yellow, it is connected with the element of earth. So when you judge what kind of food you should take for your body, it is all relevant to the unique organs in your body that need different elements. For example, our lungs correspond to metal. Our heart corresponds to fire. Our liver corresponds to wood. Our kidney corresponds to water. And our spleen corresponds to earth. Jing, Wu, Sui, Huo, Tu. Five elements, five organs, five colors. It's all interconnected and correspond to each other. Chinese food, as a matter of fact, plays a very key role in medicinal aspect. It's called a food medicine, Shi Liao. In the Chinese traditional uh, culture, food medicine is very top notch. Of course, the most top-notch medicine, according to ancient Chinese science, is not food, but actually it's music. As you just noticed, I add some brown sugar. Yeah, add a little sugar in your cooking. It's one of those uh, very unique features of the hometown that I'm from, in the Jiangsu province. It is called Wuxi. And this part of the, the China, the Chinese people over there in Wuxi, they love to eat. 
Now, in the Sichuan area, they also have some unique pizza. As we all know, it's called spicy. Sichuan food is very spicy, but Wuxi food is very sweet. Always add a little sweet in the cooking or make the person very sweet in every regard. Okay. I think that this is down and it's going to be very, very delicious. Okay, so that's Xiao Bai.